So Cooper, the only man to knock down Evander Holyfield. Been in those seven Ready, championship Michael. rounds against Holyfield before Ready, losing. Michael, Michael Moore, okay. more experienced. But Morris says he's been eat, slipping, sleeping, and drinking his opponent. So he's focused on Burt Cooper. So here we go. Scheduled for 12. Do you think we'll go anywhere near that? Cooper hoping to prove that it was not a fluke against Evander Holyfield. Hand. Cooper has Moore up against the ropes. The body shot, the right hand. Moore blocking one right, then he takes him and he's hurt. And Michael Cooper Moore is out on his face. Michael Moore, that fight is over if Joe O'Neill doesn't give him a count right here. But Michael Moore looks like he's out cold on his feet. Now Joe O'Neill. Sends Cooper over to continue the count. That's right. By virtue of Cooper not going to the neutral corner, the count was stopped and gave Moore a few extra seconds. A long straight count right hand. Michael Moore. Burt Cooper goes after him. Moore went down at the hands of Bigfoot Martin before he got up to win that fight. But in the surprise here, Cooper got him down in the first round. But he just hurt Cooper with a short little left hand himself. Crowd on its feet. What a first round. Now they're standing head to head. Moore digging in a body shot. Cooper responds with a couple of his own. Oh! Oh! Cooper goes down! Out! He, he is stretched out. His mouthpiece came flying out. Got caught with a right hook. This is Michael Moore's trademark fighting back, but Burt Cooper is asking his mouthpiece. That's right, he's asking Joe O'Neill for his mouthpiece, and he doesn't put it back in. Both men down in the first round. And Cooper absorbing more punishment. And Moore all over him again. Oh, and Cooper! How was he able to stand? to some vicious body shots by Michael Moore landed and great hooks to the head. And Cooper is about to go again. And still 27 seconds remain. And Cooper is trying to fight back. Cooper without the mouthpiece. Trying to survive the round. And now a timeout is called, waiting for a lull in the action for the mouthpiece. I'm surprised Joe O'Neill took that long to put the mouthpiece back in, because when it was out, he was right near the corner, should have administered the mouthpiece back 30 seconds ago. So Cooper gets a breather. What an eventful first round this has been, with both men knocked down, and both nearly out. Final seconds of the round, and Cooper has more hurt again. Take a look at Michael Moore going down first, Joe. Even though the count was stopped for a neutral corner, That's right. I don't believe it's he would start, have been counted out, that Joe. Start, it started out with a couple of body shots. You're right about that because he did get up in time, but it looked like he wasn't. Right hand off the temple, two right two hands. Rights. That's the one that really stunned him. His legs are coming off the ground. His hands are dropped. His back is turned. I mean, those are all the telltale signs of a guy that's not going to keep on fighting. And now here comes Cooper going down. This is the reverse. Bingo. Left hand down, right hook over the top. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Mouthpiece comes out. Cooper looks like he's dead and, of course, gets back up and recoups and makes a great uh, assault at the end of the round. So what a wild first round. I'm glad Riddick both scoring this one, not me. I think Riddick's glad he's sitting here watching this one. <laughs> sure does. Start the second round. Cooper immediately tags more. Well, obviously, Cooper, the, the punches that he got hit with were those two right hooks, and he's continuing to drop his left hand. He's got to keep those up. Body shot for Moore. Left hand. Moore. And Cooper goes back at him. What a 
a heavyweight brawl this is. Heads are close together. Warned by referee Joe O'Neill. Watching heads touching each other, always dangerous. Oh, more landing the body shot than the uppercut. And now Cooper fighting out of it. Spots. It's hit for Tat here in the second. So Cooper now has dropped Holyfield and more. Impressive notches on his belt. Should he get one? Michael Moore keeping his hands up real high on his chin, though, and really he's smothering a lot of those punches. They're hard and they're having effect, but he's not taking clean shots off the chin. So Cooper would be smart to work the body. Well, Cooper and Moore, every time Moore throws that right hook to the body, he never misses it. There's the body shot. Tries an uppercut. Joe O'Neill says bring him up. Thought the body shot was low. Cooper seemed to agree inside of a minute remaining in the second round. Moore digs in the body shot. Cooper with the right hook and the uppercut. Old-fashioned heavyweight war. Good well, body shot from Cooper. That's right. Cooper is doing what he should do and has to do, and that's answer back every punch Moore throws. But right to now, bring those hands down, Joe. That's right. But right now, Cooper's actually a little bit busier on the inside right now with his body shots. Patty cake going on here. The winning seconds of the second round. Well, those are little shots. Yeah, Cooper with the right hook. Little shot thrown by Moore to set the up left big hook ones. for Moore to respond. You see what I mean about those little shots Moore will throw to set up those big shots. And then Cooper back to the body of Moore. Cooper talking it more as the round ends. Third round. As we start the third round, we'll be bringing in Riddick Bowe for his comments in just a moment. But this, is, uh, this has been something for the first two. Michael Moore in the gold cronk trunks. Burt Cooper in the black fighting for the vacant WBO heavyweight championship belt. Oh, Cooper with the combination. And another combination, and he has more down again. This time, Cooper went to the neutral corner. Here we go. Two knockdowns to one in favor of Burt Cooper. Riddick Bowe, what do you think so far? I think Moore shouldn't be on the ropes. He should try to utilize his left hand a little bit more, or his right hand, and uh, just keep Cooper in the middle of the ring. He's really effective when he's laying on the ropes. Did the number of knockdowns surprise you? Oh, very much so. I don't really, Moore's a big puncher, but I don't really think he takes a good punch. Now Joe O'Neill warning Burt Cooper to keep the punches up. It's obvious in the last two fights that Cooper's Cooper's been able to knock down his opponents and that uh, Moore has been knocked down. Moore, Moore should be boxing a little bit more at this particular point. Now he knocks out the mouthpiece again for the second time. Cooper's mouthpiece is on the canvas. And this has been a trademark of Moore against Everett Bigfoot Martin when he got knocked down, came back and fought brilliantly against Alex Stewart. Got stunned in the second round, came back to knock out Alex Stewart. So Michael Moore is not about to quit because he's getting knocked down or hurt. Now a timeout to get the mouthpiece taken care of. But I, but I agree with, with uh, Riddick Bowe saying that Michael Moore should be off the ropes. It's something we pointed out at the beginning of the fight. And look at the blood from the right eye of Burt Cooper. Of course, uh, Tony Ayala Sr. in Moore's corner is telling him to use the ring more. 
turned into a free for all here. Now they slow down. Approximately 35 seconds remaining in the round. A cut opened up to the right of the right eye of Burt Cooper. Moore has been down twice. Cooper once. The uppercut for Moore. Well, the farther apart Cooper's hands get, the more easily Michael Moore is going to slide in those uppercuts. And uh, that's really where he does his most damage on the inside. Michael Moore needs to start putting combinations together. He's throwing one shot at a time. Cooper can see him coming, so therefore he's able to cover up. Keep taking shots like that, he won't be around. Exactly. Bert Cooper in the black trunks. Michael Moore in the gold. Moore has been down twice. Cooper once. Looks like they have the cut on the right eye under control for the time being. But the head's perilously close together once again. Well, it's starting to bleed just a little bit, but he's got Eddie Aliano in his corner, who's one of the best cut men in the business. Cooper trying the uppercut. Head to head along the ropes. Moore goes right back to the rope. Wrong place for him to be. Well, I'm wondering if his legs just aren't can't get him out of the way, or this is his game plan. This is where he wants to be. I fought Cooper. Cooper's so strong on the inside. The first round he kept me on the rope. He has to go up the ropes to beat Cooper. Right. Of course, if I'm not mistaken, you got off the rope center of the ring and landed a nice one-two and stopped him. Memory serves me right. <laughs> the head's touching on the inside and also touching in the area of where the cut is by Cooper's right eye. And Cooper's right eye is starting to open up a lot more. And see, this is what Michael Moore should do. At least try to get up the ropes and spin out to the middle of the ring where he can use a little of his reach. You see, the blood has gone off of Cooper's eye and onto Moore's head as a result of them constantly touching heads. It's also on the... The shoulder of Michael Moore, midway through the fourth round. And Moore continues to live on the ropes. Good body shot to the liver, which really backed Bert Cooper off for a second there. Oh! And Cooper lands again. Wow. And his mouthpiece is falling out. Tries to push it back in with his glove. Moore landed some great shots of the body, a left hand over the top, and Cooper snuck in a counter right hand, which buzzed Moore. So this is a real back and forth fight here in this round. Moore's taking a big chance. Uh, he's on the inside. He might get a head button and, and bleed, you know, get a cut or something. I just think he should box a little bit more now. Well, like you said, it may be the fact that he can't get off the ropes, that Burt Cooper is so strong early on in these rounds that he just he just won't let him off the ropes. But it looks like he could spin off if he wanted to. And, and get out into the middle of the ring. Because yeah, it doesn't look like he's applying that much pressure. He's just in front of him. That's right. It's more hoping that he can tire Cooper out. And that's why he's employing the strategy as well. Try to get into the later rounds. Looks like it. A couple of right hands from Moore. Final seconds of the fourth round. Lead with the right jab as soon as you push him off, okay? Take this foul. He's pushing you. Yeah. Nelly, as soon as he's pushing you, he's pushing you with both hands. He's coming back with the punch. That's right. That's right. You got him, baby. As soon as he's pushing you, he's pushing you with both hands. Push him around this round. Push him around this round. Here we go for the fifth round. Most of Moore's fights have ended in four or less. If this one had done so, he would have been the loser. Here we go. He's been down twice, and we're into the fifth round. And here goes Moore getting backed up automatically when his corner told him to use that right jab and stay on the outside a little bit more. He's not listening to Emmanuel Stewart. The right eye continues to bleed from Burt Cooper. And the head stay perilously close. It's dangerous. But this is the type of fight I have a feeling Michael Moore likes. He likes the grind on the inside. He doesn't like that, but he's taking the price. I have a feeling that he, he feels that eventually uh, Cooper's going to wear down a little bit and he's going to really be able to open up. But at, at this point, it's really not working for him. He continues to use the strategy. Backed up against the ropes, fighting from there, landing. Lands with the left hook. Cooper was the one asking for the water between rounds. I wonder if that's what Morris trying to do, wear him down. But 
Cooper is starting to sound like a uh, tennis player as he hits his shots. That eye is looking real nasty. On, oh, great hand, hand by Cooper. Cooper. Midway through the fifth round. And the body shots, a little bit low. From Cooper, warring to keep him up. The eye looking ugly, as you said. Bloody. Heads stay together. A real Donnybrook here tonight. Shaking his head, no. Nine. Amazing. He's up at nine. Sure. Tell you, that's no, it's it. over. That's it.